Welcome to a brand new series called The Antiques Treasure. Have you ever visited an antique shop, see the remnants from the past and wonder what caused the demise of these products? As we have listed on part one of the five beloved missed products, there are several factors why a product doesn't succeed. Here we are, back to list five beloved missed products, part two. Warriors, it's about time. Radio Wealth Television. I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Coming. Radio Wealth may not ring a bell to the younger generation, but it was actually a pioneer company in the local television industry. It all started when Domingo Guevara, also credited for creating the first Filipino car called Sakbayan, earned the right to distribute Motorola radio and TV set in the 1946. By 1955, his company, Radio Wealth Incorporation, began manufacturing its own television sets made from imported electronic parts. Theirs were more affordable, so many Filipino families had a chance to own this appliance. In the following years, Radio Wealth continued blazing the trail. In 1966, Radio Wealth Inc. started producing 19, 21, and 25-inch models of TV sets. The Philippines also became the third country to manufacture color TV sets thanks to Radio Wealth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alpo rubber shoes. And what are these? The real question is, what are those? If Ang Tibai was known for its durable leather footwear, Alpo was the local king of rubber shoes. The latter was the brainchild of Don Thomas C. Hieronimo, who opened El Porvenir Rubber Products Inc. in 1933. The company's flagship product, the Alpo rubber shoes, was the Philippines' answer to Converse during the 1940s and well into the 1960s. The term Alpo was a contraction of El Porvenir, which means the future. The future? Unbelievable. Surge's Chocolates. Do you want a chocolate? The name Surge's Chocolates usually conjure up images of carefree childhood those times when all we had the luxury to eat a box of chocolates without worrying about tooth decay. Established in 1954 by Anton Gokule, Surge's Products Inc. offered products such as chocolate bars, breakfast cocoa, candies, and instant coffee. The company was named after Gokule's son, Sergio. Surge's was a force to be reckoned with from the 1950s and well into the 1970s. Its operation was temporarily halted by the martial law era, during which the Gokule family migrated to the United States. The company later became part of the asset privatization program of the government. The beloved chocolate factory filed for bankruptcy in 2001. There was a recent campaign to revive Surge's chocolates, but no official statement has been released yet to confirm whether the local brand is coming back for good. Come back! Ang Tibai Shoes Hey, nice shoes! Oh, thanks. Known for its durability, Ang Tibai Shoes definitely lived up to its famous tagline. The wear that lasts. From the 1900s up to the 1950s, Ang Tibai was almost an indomitable brand of leather footwear, pleasing both locals and foreigners alike. Just like any great enterprise, Ang Tibai also had a humble origin. Its founder, Toribio Teodoro, was born to poor parents and didn't even complete elementary education. At a young age, he started working in a cigar factory before he switched to slipper making at the age of 20. It was during this time when the idea of starting a business came to his mind. In 1910, he opened his first shop on Rizal Avenue with the help of his friend and business partner, Juan Catinding. The two eventually parted ways, leaving Teodoro with no choice but to start Ang Tibai Footwear Factory on his own. In a span of 10 years, his company gradually emerged as one of the biggest enterprises in the country, earning him the title Manila Slipper King. The brand continued to soar until the 1950s and 1960s when the popularity of Ang Tibai shoes slowly faded. Royal Lem O Lime Soft Drink. 
Royal Lem O Lime is a discontinued soft drink manufactured by Royal True. It was a cheap citrus flavored soda that became popular from the 1960s until 1970s. Royal True became famous for its fruit flavored soft drinks such as Royal True Orange, Royal True Lemon, Royal True de Landan, and Royal True Orange Light. Aside from Lem O Lime, other products that went into extinction were Royal Ginger Ale, Royal Tonic Water, and Royal Soda Water. Royal True was first introduced by San Miguel Brewery in 1922. Five years later, San Miguel became a franchise of Coca-Cola. Both the Royal True beverages and the Coca-Cola franchise would eventually combine to become Coca-Cola Bottlers Philippines Inc. Then, in 2007, San Miguel finally sold its entire share of CCBPI, including the Royal True, to the Coca-Cola company. Here in Pinoy High Five, we'll keep you company. All you need to do is click that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified for more great videos.